Blessings. As we continue to revisit the prophetic instruction that God has given us in the series, The ABC for the End Times, today we are going to focus on part two, the fiery red horse and the judgment that it represents. Revelation 6 and verse 4. Another horse, fiery red, went out, and it was granted to the one who sat on it to take peace from the earth, and that people should kill one another, and there was given to him a great sword. The red horse represents death, and the judgment is violence. The horseman was given a sword, and it was given the authority to take away our peace. As we look around, chaos is everywhere, and it's becoming unsafe to go out to the malls, the stores, the schools, even the churches. Each day we hear news of increased violence and killings. People are becoming more and more afraid to even leave their own home. So how should we respond to the judgment of violence? Let's review the ABC instructions that the Lord has given us. A. Walk in the covenant authority. Psalm 74 and verse 20. Have respect to the covenant, for the dark places of the earth are full of haunts of cruelty. The earth is full of cruelty. We need to be loyal to God. We need to keep that covenant relationship. We can't let anything or anyone cause us to break a covenant with Him. Covenant relationships are so important. Let's honor our covenant relationship that we have with our spouses, our family members, our brothers and sisters in the Lord, and our friends. There is power in agreement. B. Seek and stay in the presence of God. Psalm 31 and verse 20. You shall hide them in the secret place of your presence. From the plots of man, you shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of the tongues. Our protection is in the presence of the Lord. It's obvious we don't have protection outside. It is the presence of God that we can feel the peace in the midst of chaos. C. Welcome the ministry of Holy Spirit in our families. Holy Spirit brings conviction of sin. It's Holy Spirit that brings us comfort. It's Holy Spirit that brings us the peace. Let's welcome the presence of Holy Spirit in our homes and in each member of our families. Malachi 4 verse 5 and 6. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. Do you see the promise here? Do you see the restoration of covenant relationships in the home? When there is judgment, the Lord gives us the opportunity to repent. Holy Spirit is the best consolation in this season. Let's allow Holy Spirit to come into our homes, confront our sin, and let's repent. What are the ABC instructions in response to the judgment of violence? A. Walk in the covenant authority. B. Seek and stay in the presence of God. And C. Welcome the ministry of Holy Spirit in our families. In closing, I want to share a promise from the Lord, and it can be found in Revelation 3, verse 10. Because you have kept my command to persevere, I also will keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. God will keep us safe in the hour of trial if we choose to persevere in our faith. Let's keep our covenant with God and let's keep our covenant with others and walk according to His Word. To learn more about this prophetic instruction, be sure to visit the Abba Ministries YouTube channel and watch part two of the playlist, ABC for the End Times. May God's peace be with you. Shalom.